Well, hi there. This is Aviation Adventures with Captain Ron, and something has come to my attention that kind of doesn't pass the smell test, and this was the Airbus Cosmic Ray attack. Yes, Airbus aircraft were attacked by cosmic rays, and they had to be grounded because there was a little issue with the ELAC computer, the memory function, that apparently was corrupted by cosmic rays. Now, that's interesting. All right, now they didn't specify whether it was secondary or primary cosmic rays, whether it was high energy electrons, protons, or various muons, or all sorts of other secondary cosmic ray type of interaction particles. But we fly high. We fly high in airliners, but we don't fly that high to really be concerned about cosmic rays as such. Now, yes, they do come to the Earth. I have actually, uh, as a science fair project, built a cosmic ray detector, and they do get all the way to the ground. But the incident of this is extremely rare. Now, uh, I've flown the Airbus, and I've also been involved with evaluation and certification for the uh, Airline Pilots Association. I was involved with um, all sorts of electromagnetic energies when I worked as lead engineer in the microwave technology group for Boeing. I have flown flight test. As I said, I've flown it operationally. And I was at one time in charge of the uh, Society of Automotive Engineers, AE4, our data accuracy panel. We spent over 10 years setting the standards for certification of fly-by-wire aircraft. I mean, what threats would these aircraft have to be exposed to? And those were usually electromagnetic threats, because that's what you're exposed to. Various emitters, these are electromagnetic devices. And, um, you know, frankly, cosmic rays, even though we had uh, we had high-energy physicists on the committee, uh, this not it was not something we considered. Now, let me give you a little background here for fun. I started out as a nuclear physics geek. I built a particle accelerator in high school. I did a lot of measurements of uh, mostly protons, excited states, and I worked for the very first space physicist, Dr. James Van Allen. In fact, when he started space physics, uh, he told me one time on a little walk, uh, he was a, a nuclear physicist. They didn't even have space physics. He essentially developed it. And one of the things I did was I operated the Engine 5 satellite. Um, they later, okay, <laughs> we won't go there, but they later called it Hawkeye. They didn't like the name Engine. But anyway, the University of Iowa had a number of satellites, and that's my wife in front of the uh, council. And our job was to measure all sorts of uh, radiation particles, electrons, protons, uh, cosmic rays, everything in outer space. And uh, that, was, uh, that was one of the things that uh, I did during, uh, uh, during my college years. Okay, so they got this problem with the corruption of data. Well, how can things be uh, corrupted? You know, well, it can be corrupted in a various number of ways. But hey, cosmic rays sound good. So hey, if you want to pull this answer out of your you-know-what, go ahead. More power to you. To me, it doesn't really pass the smell test. It sounds to me like they did not have a very robust um, program. And they had to come back in, and they had to make it a little more uh, tolerant. It's kind of like, you know, sometimes you have to restart your computer because things get screwed up. And I think to uh, say it was cosmic rays, okay, prove me wrong, prove me right. See, that's the thing. How do you go and really tell it was a cosmic ray function just because something randomly changed? All right, okay. That sounds like a problem looking for a solution or a solution looking for a problem, whichever way that goes. But anyway... It doesn't sound the best to me. I think it's a little bit of a specious solution to the problem, but they've gone in, they fixed it fairly easily, a two-hour fix, and now supposedly everything is back to normal. But mm, I would like to see some more proof before I start blaming cosmic rays. Okay, that's my two cents worth. Hope you enjoyed it.